to do a will I buy it and let you know if I'm going to buy stuff or if I've already bought stuff. <laughs> so we're going to talk about some new releases, some beauty news, all that good stuff. And yeah, I'm going to just jump right in. I really just wanted to do like a chill video. If you didn't see my most recent video, I talked about I've been having some health concerns going on and so I'm just trying to like bring it down several notches and just be super chill. So I was like, what's the like chill video that I could do? And I figured I could just do it while I buy it, right? Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, look at Trend Mood. I've been looking at Trend Mood's Instagram lately just to sort of see what's going on. Um, and yeah, let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing that I saw is that Patrick Ta Beauty is coming out with some more products, like extensions really, of what he already has. There are going to be four new blush duos. So there's a cream and a powder. And then there are four plumping lip glosses. Now, I'm not getting any of these. Um, here's why. So I previously had two of the blush duos. I ended up returning one and the one that I kept is, it's the blush that I use the least out of all the blushes that I have. And so to me, that doesn't make sense for me to buy any more of them. Now, I what I recognize though, is that sometimes I say I'm not gonna buy something and all of a sudden I buy it. I don't think that's gonna happen with these though. Like just the products that I've gotten from him so far from the brand, I just, they haven't been my favorite. It's like one of those brands that I really, really wanna like, but like we just, we just don't vibe, you know? But the shades are very, very pretty. They do seem a bit more vibrant and bold, bolder than the previous shades of the blushes. So I imagine that maybe I would actually like these shades a bit more, but I'm not gonna get anything. I may though, when there's a sale at Sephora, I could see myself picking one or two up, you know? Mm -hmm. I don't even know if I should give any sort of airtime to this Oscar Mayer baloney face mask. I'm not okay with it. I'm not gonna get it. I don't need you to get it. You're not supposed to put baloney on your face. I know it's not real baloney, but I'm just, no, 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 no. I, no, ew, ew, does it smell like baloney? Ugh. I know Teresa is dead and her husband did like a, um, a review of it. I just, I, no, I can't. <laughs> did y'all used to have fried bologna sandwiches? Did we just do that in the hood? Nobody else said that. I just, don't take me back to where I don't need to go, okay? Now, this is some interesting beauty news. According to Trend Mood, Charlotte Darling Tilbury is coming to Ulta. Listen, Ulta was like, we're here to stay. We're gonna take all y'all, all y'all from Sephora. Y'all, is this for real? I haven't heard anybody talking about it. Was Fenty also supposed to be there? Like, Ulta's just grabbing everybody from Sephora. That's what they're doing and I'm okay with it because I really appreciate Ulta's point system much more than I appreciate Sephora's. With Sephora, you gotta get about two, 3,000 points just to get a half a dollar off of something. At least with Ulta, you know, you can get your $3 off and like, it's just better. So the more stuff that goes over to Ulta, the better it is for us is all I'm saying. So another exciting release or collab is with um, Angelica Nyquist and Odin's Eye. It is called the Legendary Diversa The Gila Palette. And it looks really pretty. If you've ever watched Angelica, like she does a lot of really colorful looks and this palette just screams color. There's green, there's pink, there's like a deep plum, I think that is. And ooh, that looks real, oh. 
There, there's like some multi crones in here. That's cute. Now, the only eyeshadow palette that I have from Odin's Eye is the Hummingbird palette that um, is the collab with Tina, the Fancy Face. I actually wore that yesterday. Uh, I'll pop a picture up if I remember. And I really, Rosé. I really like the palette. Stop, leave me alone. I really like the palette. Um, I was struggling a little bit with the shimmers. Like the shimmer was just, it was just getting in my eye. So that probably is just user error, <laughs> but I want to use it a couple more times before adding more of their products to my collection. But I really appreciate the collabs that they do. They do collabs with people that I think are just really interesting and cool. So I'm really happy for Angelica. And is this, this is her second one, I think, right? It's going to sell out, I'm sure. I'm sure. But that sounds like a good one if if you are interested in um, supporting her. It looks like it'll be, it's already available and it will be 43 Zoll hairs. So yeah, let me know if you pick that up. Now, Givenchy is coming out with Prisma Libre products. There is a pressed powder. Now they have that cool powder that's like the different colors. It's like lavender and like seafoam green and all this stuff. But it's a loose powder. It seems like now it's going to be a pressed powder. I'm not getting it. I'm not getting it. Let me know if you do. So let me tell you what I'm doing. I'm skipping right past Kylie Cosmetics. I'm also be skipping right past ColourPop. Now, it does seem like the same. Pat McGrath is expanding her Bridgerton collection. She is dropping two lipsticks and two lip pencils, it seems. And so those will be joining the eyeshadow palette, the highlighter palette, um, the blush and glow is joining all that stuff. So these are cute. Um, I'm not gonna get them. I'm not gonna get either of them. First of all, I have learned my lesson and I can never, ever, ever again buy anything Pat McGrath not on sale because home girl has so many sales and I'm not going to fall for the okie doke no more. I'm going to wait for a sale now. Just I'm going to wait for a sale. Glossier. I'm, I'm skipping that. I don't care about that. Uh, Too Faced is coming out with some bronzers. <laughs> and an eyeshadow palette. It is called the Sunset Stripped Collection. The eyeshadow palette looks boring, but cute, I guess. I feel like that's their aesthetic. Um, it's the Born This Way Sunset Stripped Eyeshadow Palette for $48, and then there are Chocolate Soleil bronzers and I say bronzers because these things seem like they will only bronze a subsection of the population if you know what I'm saying. Now I've only ever had one eyeshadow palette from Too Faced and that was the the nudie one. What was that called y'all? Natural nudes? I don't know it was something. It was okay but I did feel like the shades needed to be a bit deeper to work better on my skin tone. And this palette actually looks like that's what it's doing. It's sort of giving like a deeper version of that other palette, whatever its name was. But I'm, I'm okay, I don't need it. I don't, I don't know that this is gonna be one that I'm, I like go back on and purchase it unless it's at a deep discount, just because I love a sale. Now, Glam Light is coming out with a 
Hershey's Kisses times Glam Light times. I hate when people do that. It's not times, girl. Y'all forgive me. My brain is still trying to bounce back. Hershey's Kisses and Glam Light collection. And it looks super cute. There is a an eyeshadow palette. Um, five Kisses eyeshadow palettes, $18 each. There is a cookies and cream one that has soft blues and creams and metallics. There's a milk chocolate one that has like your chocolatey, chocolatey nude tones, browns. There's a, a milk chocolate with almonds one. And that is warm nudes and golds. And then there's a special dark palette. And that is purple tones. There's also a lava cake palette that is pink tones. What is your favorite Hershey's Kiss? Because I like the regular ones. Because they do just sort of like melt in your mouth. But I also really like the almond ones. Wait, but then I also like the white chocolate ones. Let me know. There's a makeup sponge that I kind of want to get for it. It's $8 and it's shaped like a Hershey's Kiss. I mean, this is how they get you. This is how they get you. I don't need that sponge. But I really want it. <laughs> Actually, what I want is Hershey's Kisses. If we're just going to be honest. Um, but this is cute. This looks super cute. Like, they also have some lip glosses. There's a lip gloss set for $28. You can get the PR box with everything in it for $145. I just, I just want some Hershey's Kisses. I don't need, I don't need that. One thing that I've been going back and forth on is the e.l.f. The Camo Powder Foundation. Now, Ulta has, I think, like 12 shades on there. So they don't have the entire collection because there are 30 shades. The thing is, the one shade <laughs> that I think would work for me is just, it's out. It hasn't, where is it? I don't know. I think it's number like 540 or something. Whatever it is, they don't have it. So I was debating like getting it from the e.l.f. website, but I just, I don't know that I need to jump through all the fiery hoops to get this powder foundation. I'm probably just gonna wait to see if they actually pop it up at Ulta. Right now I have, mm, I think, two powder foundations and one cream to powder foundation. So this isn't necessarily a need, but I did want to try it out for folks who do like to pick up things that are more at the drugstore price, kind of cost effective, a bit more accessible. So I may still try to get it, especially if any of you are like, girl, please get it and tell us how it is, then I'll get it, okay? Hmm. I actually really do like their camo line. Um, I like their camo concealers. The There's like a regular one and then there's a hydrating one, I think, yes. I think I've actually gone through at least two of those concealers. So, yeah, we'll see. Let me know if you want me to try that out, okay? Now, Fenty is coming out with this Cookies and Clean Detox Face Mask. What I notice is that everyone's doing like a cookies and cream kind of thing. So that makes me, of course, go to thinking about my favorite ice cream. Cookies and cream used to be it. That used to be me. We went together. But then I moved on to cookie dough. Ooh. Mm. I literally just got chills. But... Do you know which one I love? From Ben and Jerry's, The Tonight Dough. What's in that? Because it's delicious. And you know the other one that's good? Oh, Ben and Jerry's Half Baked. I don't even bake. I, like, I don't bake, like food bake, and I don't get baked like some of y'all be doing, which is fine. Do you, okay? But whatever is in that, it is so good, so good y'all, to the point where I've even eaten the non-dairy version. And you know, sometimes people mess things up when they take dairy out of stuff. But that, I like, ooh, it's so good. 
But it's really interesting to see that everyone's doing this like cookies and cream thing. I'm not getting this from Venti. I have tried their moisturizer. I'm always a little iffy about getting like skincare products from brands that I tend to get makeup products from. I don't know why. I just feel like stick with that that you're doing and then I'm gonna go over here to get this other thing. But I really liked the moisturizer. I just, I'm, I'm afraid to just dive into using um, skincare products from like a makeup brand, even though, I don't know. Do you know what I mean? Like, I also think I have something, like, like it scares me to use things that have that sort of gimmicky like cookies and clean like just I just want an astringent I want a cleanser I want a moisturizer I don't I don't want all the other stuff just getting bare bones so I'm not gonna get that but let me know if you are oh and Rihanna's pregnant which is kill for her if you want to do that mm -hmm. not me this Ofra collection I thought this was ColourPop but our, um, the owners of Ofra, apparently they support somebody that I'm not a huge fan of, so I'm not going to purchase anything from them ever. Now, Makeup Revolution is partnering with The Lion King and coming out with a collection. As soon as I saw that, I was like, Montsinquenya! Y'all, I used to love me some Lion King but I'm not getting this. It looks like there are lip products. There um, is an eyeshadow palette that is not really drawing me in. Um, there's also mascara and there are eye crayons. There's a lot of stuff. There's a lot of stuff. Makeup Revolution has like color pop vibes in terms of they just be dropping stuff like all the time and they have about like six branches of makeup revolution they've got revolution pro they've got makeup revolution like they just have so many it's just overwhelming and like i just feel like i can't sully the name of lion king by purchasing this palette that just is not cute now my boo, Mario, of Makeup by Mario, is coming out with the Ultra Suede Cozy Lip Cream. It's a satin matte lip cream that comfortably cushions lips while blurring and smoothing. Can you blur lips? Huh, okay. There's a nude suede, which is a light beige nude. There's a pinky brown that's a neutral brown pink. And there's mocha latte, which is a cool mid-tone brown. They are $24 each and will be on their website and at Sephora. Ooh, my bad. Tomorrow. I struggle with this brand because I love my... Makeup by Mario Eye Prep and Set. Like, this is bay. I mean, I've finished both of the creams and I've hit pan on the powder. But it's one of those situations where I like that so much that I don't want to try anything else because I'm afraid to be disappointed. It doesn't make any sense. But that's my truth. So if you try it, let me know because I'm not going to get it. <laughs> so there's a new collab collection, Spectrum and Disney. It's the Winnie the Pooh collection. There is an eight piece brush set, a makeup bag, a Tigger Kabuki brush, a solid brush soap, piglet ears, Sponge set. Okay. Not getting it. Do you know what really bothered me? I remember when my niece was born. Girl, that was over two decades ago. But 
I remember that her room, I think, had some like Winnie the Pooh stuff in there. And I was always bothered that honey was spelled incorrectly. I just didn't want my niece growing up thinking that that's how you spell honey. Now there are some concealers that have come out that I have my eye on. One of them is the Tarte Power Flex Concealer. It's currently on QVC and then I think it's coming, you know, to their website and everything, hopefully. I know Tracy already got it off QVC. Now, I love the Shape Tape Concealer. It's one of my favorite concealers. Top three, probably. Yeah, top three. I'm really curious about this one. So I will probably pick it up. I really like the like the component it's just cute and it has coconut it looks like i mean it's pictured with the coconut i don't know what that actually means but i'm attracted to it i appreciate it y'all know i love some coconut and some coconut water we already talked about that so that one i'm thinking that's going to be on the list of things i pick up another one is the one from lys it's the Triple Fix Brightening Concealer. LYS is another brand that I really want to love, but I just, like, I can't get, I just, I don't know, you know? I just haven't felt, like, grabbed by anything. I, don't, I have to figure out my emotions, my feelings around the brand and then I can decide whether or not I will purchase anything but the the concealer looks pretty interesting the serum foundation also looks interesting I just like nothing is making me want to snatch anything up from them and then the other one that I was considering and just probably not going to get either way is the KVD what is it kindness vegan dashing through the snow beauty do good to everybody on earth i don't know um it is their good apple concealer i really just like the bottle <laughs> that's why it just is cool but i'm probably not gonna get it because i still feel a kind of way about kindness vegan daring beauty I still feel a kind of way about it, um, so I don't think I'm gonna get that. No, I'm not gonna get it. I don't need that, I don't want it. Now, the thing that I am really excited about, I'm just like anxiously awaiting, is the new Hindash palette. He's teasing it, I hate, I hate teasers. I just, but, I was looking at Hendash's Instagram and I was trying to figure out what is this? So I had to do a little bit of researching, you know? Let me let me go to his Instagram so I can tell you. This is like Okay. So, in the first thing, he says a new chapter begins. Fall in lust. Lust is good sometimes. And then the next post says, mats made in heaven. I'm appreciating the puns, the play on words. And he said, I worked on the second palette alongside my first palette, Butopsy. And I knew I wanted to create a more romantic color story that would work together in harmony. But I knew I also wanted to create other products that would allow me to achieve my full signature face of color. I can't wait for you to see. I can't wait either, Hindash, okay? <laughs> okay, so then the next post, it's like the palette. 
and it looks exactly like the Butopsy palette, except it seems like it's sort of like a pale pink or like a peachy kind of thing going on. And you know how there's Butopsy on the side of the Butopsy one? This one says Monochromance. So that is obviously monochromatic and romantic or romance put together, right? So then I was like, okay, I'm intrigued. He says it's a romantic color story and it's inspired by his love of art and monochromatic mediums. And he says it's coming soon. When is soon? I don't like being played like this. I don't, I don't like that. I don't like it. But when you look at the uh, post or whatever, like you see there are colors in the background. And you know, like y'all folks in marketing and all that, you understand this, but it takes some of the, the rest of us some time to realize that everything has a meaning. So it looks like there's going to be monochromatic shades. There's going to be like a pink, sort of like a burnt orange, a purple, like a seafoam green, a mossy green, and um, orangey, did I say that? Like a tan, and I'm guessing it's going to be six shades. Here's what I think it is. I think it's going to be, let me get my butopsy, hold on. Okay, so here's what I think it's gonna be. So it's gonna look like this, but it's gonna be like pale pink. And then on the side, it's going to say monochromance. And then it's gonna be like the same thing, same thing. And it's going to be six little thingamajiggies and like the monochromatic color within each of them, right? So it's gonna be like pink and green and blah, blah. So it feels like it's going to be the same Thing. but this to me is more like a face palette I'm wondering if the monochromance is going to be more like an eye palette but I don't know I really don't know I'm really intrigued and I think that's the product I'm gonna spend my money on it's part of I'm putting it in my budget okay so I think that's it. Those are all of the things that I see for now. I'm sure more stuff will be coming out. If we can't count on anything else in life, we can count on Colourpop and Makeup Revolution releasing some stuff. So they're probably doing it right now. <laughs> anything else? I think that's it, you all. It is time for me to have some food, take this brassiere off, and call it a Day. So let me know what you're picking up. Thank you so much for watching. I hope some of this was helpful and I will see you next time.